Boss man, tell them about your channel first of all. So, O2 Silverado. Uh, it's got a 06 engine, LQ4, 6 liter from a 2500 HD with the 4L80 behind it. Um, it's got a 4800 stall behind it. Uh, it's big cam, stock set of heads, stock intake manifold, uh, long tube headers, cold air intake. Just simple, basic bolt ons, nothing fancy, no ported heads, none of that. So, it's just a big, simple setup. Pull this off. Nice. So as you see, it's a daily driver, so it's real dirty at the moment. Um, but real simple. Stock stuff. It does have 88 pound injectors with a Holly uh, fuel system on it. Uh, switch it over to electric fans. I still need to clean up the harness a little bit because it's the stock harness is kind of cracking up at this moment but yeah pretty simple setup uh, quick as it's gone it's been down in the 730s with a 163 60 foot uh, go around to the back show a little bit about what's going on in the back so got the Hooser 28 inch slicks I'm wanting to try a set of 26s and see if it does a little better with those uh, I drive it every day the street tires and stuff jack and everything's over there from where I have to change it all out. So I come to the track, change over, ready to race. So in the back, we got 25 gallon fuel cell, uh, onboard air compressor for my tires. How many miles should you get to the gallon? Uh, right now I'm running E85, so I get about 12 to 13 on the E85. Uh, when I'm on regular gasoline, because I convert the truck to flex fuel, I can put either or in it and it'll adjust itself. When I'm on regular gasoline, I get between 16 and 17 miles to the gallon, driving okay. it to work and back. Okay. So, it does real good. It's a lot better than my other, my actual other truck. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a white 2500 HD that's lifted 10 inches on 37s. Okay. So it gets like 12 miles to the gallon. So I end up daily driving this the most. So your race truck is better than your extra truck truck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I hardly ever drive the big white truck unless I need to tow this somewhere. But KJ follows me around all the time. How often do you see him being towed? That's right. It's never. Always, I never. I, I see you come across the Savannah Bridge one day. Yeah. Yeah. I run all the way up to Goliath, and most of the time I'll drive it there. The only time I tow it is if I plan staying for the weekend. All right. And that's just so I have room to put the tent. Tell them about your channel, man. I know you got a YouTube. I know you're trying to get it off the ground. Let them know about your channel, brother. Yeah, so uh, I'm doing YouTube videos and uh, trying to do some product testing videos and testing different stuff with these LS engines and these trucks. Um, my YouTube channel is Frog's Garage, so if you would, go over and check it out. Hit the subscribe button and follow. Uh, but yeah, going to get some more content coming out. I'm probably going to do a review video here soon on... Uh, switching up the exhaust on this and also I want to switch over to the ET Street SS tires and compare the ET Street R's versus the SS's. All right, so man. That'll be some recent content that should be coming out on my channel. All right, brother. But uh, we'll go over the inside a little bit. So as you see, it's a full interior truck. About the only thing taken out of here is the center console, which I do want to put back in. Um, Got some race seats I installed, harness, uh, still radio. I don't have AC at the moment, but I might put that back in as well. Uh, yeah, pretty simple setup on the inside too. Nothing fancy going on here. Um, I have a two-step installed on it. So it's got a switch right here in the middle. I can activate or deactivate the two-step in the center. Um, no, no nitrous, no nothing. Just all motor, daily driven setup. Bracket racing every weekend. You ever thought about spraying it though? I thought about it, but uh, once you start getting into that stuff, you start breaking it all the time, and it just starts becoming a big money pit. You spend Most more definitely. time working on it than enjoying it. Most definitely. So uh, that's pretty much how I'm going to leave it for bracket racing, because with that, I mean, you ain't got to be the fastest. You just got to be the most consistent, and that's what I do good with. That's right, I've been bro. running it for two years, well over a 1,000 passes, and ain't had a single thing break or give me an issue. That's all right, yeah. So, she's been faithful, and she's been good to me. Okay. But... Yeah, so that's pretty much the truck. Again, simple setup. Uh, How many passes are you going to make tonight for us? Uh, I'll probably make uh, three more. I've already done two uh, with a little bit of tuning with the laptop on it. I'm probably going to make three more. Okay. So I'm sorry I missed the first two, but I'm definitely going to catch the next ones. Oh, you're fine. I was just doing a little bit of tuning. Uh, 
trying to see how much time and she lighting on the top end. Okay. I'll have her set coming soft out the hole. I'm only leaving on about two degrees of timing out the hole. Okay. And then I have it ramp up down track. All right, brother. All right. All right. But yep, that's pretty much it. All right, man. We're going to get them shakedowns. All righty. I'll catch you out there. All right.